Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Clutch Axe. I'm Zoe and today's video what we want to do is go ahead and prep our first egg box if just in case we do get a clutch or two, uh, start giving some test runs, you know what I mean? And hopefully hatch us some babies out later on in the year. But before we get to that, I want to give a shout out to uh, Camel Constrictors. I mean, they have such a crazy facility. I mean, super professional. All their videos are great. They're funny, very family oriented. So I really love that stuff. Uh, and I want to show you with you guys a little bit of the intro because again, another breeder, with another badass intro and I'm sitting over here just saying well, hi I'm Zoe welcome to Clutch X so I don't know I have to do something about that but uh, you know let, let, let's put him up on the screen and you know uh, show him some love out there so you know make sure you guys subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel and follow him on Instagram I mean he's a really great dude and uh, you know it's his videos are on point so let's check it out Cutting up some some clutches in this video, so you know. All right, there you go. And uh, you know, just just saying, I'm just saying right here. If uh, uh, Brad's looking at this from Brad's beautiful balls, he got some stickers. He got a letter and all that stuff. And I'm over here sitting with no stickers, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know I haven't got my you know my whole sticker trading thing going on. I still don't have stickers on the app, but. What's up, man? I mean, you can still send me some stickers. Uh, not only that, though, before we even start this video, too, I want to uh, give a sh big shout out to Shane over at Small Town Exotics, man. Uh, I went out to Bakersfield, you know, to do some stuff out there, and and I was able to, you know, I was lucky enough to go in there, check his facility, facility A1 on point. I was hating, I was mad, I was like, man, this is how they do it in Bakersfield. I need to come out here and get on game because, you know, his facility is on point. Um, the shirt. I'm gonna tell you straight up, Shane, I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna have to lose a couple pounds before I get into that shirt and rep it on the video because I was showing some stuff I wasn't too happy about. Uh, uh, all right, guys, so uh, in today's video, what I wanna do is prep uh, my first uh, egg box for my, uh, hopefully one of my first clutches that should be coming in if I'm lucky within like 10 or 15 days from now. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I think most people use the uh, vermiculite or and all that stuff, you know, to to you know kind of get the moisture, that 50/50 water and all that stuff, or the hatch right. Um, but I saw this at uh, at Muscle Serpents University over there with Dave Dave Palumbo, and and he used sponges, you know. And I mean, what he said made a lot of sense. Oh look, a TV on a TV. <laughs> That's kind of tight. All right. Um, so I I don't know. Um, um, yeah, I mean he sold me on it. It just seems so simple. So here I have my little egg box thing here. You know, it's just a little quartz up. I'm just gonna put a sponge there. I'm gonna cut this sponge right here in half, essentially, and or maybe not, and then just kind of fit them like that. You know, so that's step one. So now let me show you guys step two. All right, guys. So for step two, I just borrowed one of my, um, you know, uh, water dispensers here uh, for one, uh, and I'm just gonna pour the water. I mean, it made it so simple the way he did it because he didn't even have to measure or anything. He just let the sponges soil up the water, and then essentially, you know, uh, the water stays in there, the moisture stays in there, contained, and that happens when you know. Um, so when they were expanding, so I may I may have to cut that one in half or something. I'll give it a shot one more time. Um, you know, just I don't want that happening when I have my eggs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep putting more water in there. There we go. So they might actually soil too much, so I may have to uh, put in some actual. Um, I cut it down, but essentially that's all I'm really gonna do. Try to keep adding a little bit more water. So from there, what I'm gonna do actually, um, just to give it a test run, I'm not even gonna put that light diffuser in there or anything, because I don't I don't feel like I need to, uh, you know, do it do that because that's not gonna affect the humidity. So then essentially, what I'm gonna do after that is step three. 
Guys, okay, so for step three, all I'm really gonna do is just get uh, my little um, thermometer here. It's just, or you know, it's it's gonna give you my temperature and my humidity. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna lay it right on top of here because the sponges aren't really that uh, wet or have a lot of moisture, so it won't mess up my my gauge here. So I'm just gonna put that there, just so I can start trying to see uh, what happens with my humidity. For this first test run, what I'm gonna do is I'm not even gonna put like a ceram wrap or anything like that. I'm just gonna leave it as is, just because I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for me. Uh, if it starts losing humidity, then at that point, you know, I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to see what I could do, probably some wrap, right? So I could like keep more humidity in there. But for now, I'm just gonna do that. And then after that, I am just gonna cap this and then just take it to the incubator. So, you know, let's, let's check that out. All right, guys, just really tight here. So might not be able to see my face as I'm doing this. So all I'm gonna do here is put my egg box right in the middle, maybe more towards the side, towards the heat tape. Move this out of the way. Now, what I also have seen is that some people have, I mean, I'm just gonna use something really silly, uh, something like this, right? Anything to just go ahead and put this under one side. That way, any humidity that builds up, up on the top would essentially just uh, roll out towards the sides and fall back down instead of dripping directly on the egg. So that's something that I'm gonna do uh, probably just by putting a little bit of tape or adhesive on the bottom of my container just to give it that little bit of an edge because even a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch, uh, you know, at a level will make the water disperse to the side. So that's all I'm really looking for just to try to avoid having water dripping directly on my eggs and potentially having them uh, grow mold in there and or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do here is just close the door see what happens and see what kind of gauge. I have another gauge here just to see what my temperature on the outside is. Uh, it is a bigger fridge, so what I'm finding out is that I need to go ahead and have like a tray of water on every level just to keep the humidity up so that inside of my egg boxes here, uh, it's able to maintain moisture a little bit easier. And essentially that's it guys, I'm just Gonna give that a go, see if that works, see if that's good enough. I mean, I'm hoping it's good enough. I feel it's good enough. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a method that's used by what I think is a very reputable breeder. Uh, so I'm okay using that method and giving it a shot. It seems to be very very simple. Um, perhaps a little easier to maintain some moisture because it's not being absorbed uh, into the the mix that we you know I I could have used like half right or anything. So. I'm, I'm really banking on this method. I think it'll be a good method. I think it's gonna work for me. Uh, again, just raising, just tilting the box over a little bit to give the water enough. So any, any water that comes up and goes and condenses up in the lid, kind of goes off to the sides. And you know, I'm gonna give it a shot, give it about three to four days, see where the humidity ends up, see where my temperatures ends up, end up, and uh, hopefully it's enough to, uh, you know, bring out some successful clutches um, and you know, see what happens i'm just really really excited about the whole hopefully getting some clutches thing uh i'm 10 to 15 days away from it like i said and i'm just really hoping that we know it, everything comes on fine and i can finally call myself a breeder um you know and and that's pretty much it for this video guys again if you guys have a minute go check uh camel constrictors i mean they're they're good people if you see their facility they have Great caging, a lot of animals. I think I, I was told it was about 81, 86 ball pythons. So definitely a very uh, passionate breeder and uh, have a great channel just showing you a bunch of snakes. So check them out if you can. Follow them on you know social media, Instagram, YouTube. And you know what? If just in case you're watching and you're not subscribed, maybe help me get to a thousand subscribers too. I mean, you know, I'm just trying to hit that threshold, just so I can say like. Yeah, I'm kind of like a, you know, social media star or whatever, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's just whatever. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope everybody's st staying safe out there. Everybody's just doing their thing to, you know, not get sick. And uh, hope to be back next week with another video. Thank you very much.